Hello, everyone. This is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. I've been grateful to do these reviews of the Book of Mormon because it takes a bit of research, and I always come away more impressed with the book itself and those that publish it. This is the case with our next review. This is the black softcover edition published by the Church of Christ Temple Lot. I always knew about this denomination, but I had to research a little bit more in order to do this Book of Mormon review. A brief background is that in 1831, Joseph Smith dedicated a set of 65 and a half acres in Independence, Missouri for a future city called Zion. He then started encouraging families to move there. Among the land was two and a half acres that was dedicated for a future temple. Unfortunately, in 1833, the saints were driven out of the county by mobs, so the temple and full city were never built. After Joseph was martyred in 1844, a few of the outlying congregations moved back to Independence, Missouri in the 1860s, where they purchased the original parcel of land reserved for the future temple. The leaders originally had affiliations with Brigham Young's group, but eventually distanced themselves from the Salt Lake Church due to the practicing of polygamy. In the late 1800s, the reorganized Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints also gained a footing in Independence, Missouri, and made a claim on the original land and temple lot. The long story short, after a few lawsuits and appeals, the Church of Christ temple lot kept control of the temple lot property and has remained independent of the Salt Lake Church and Community of Christ, once known as the RLDS Church. So this Church of Christ Temple Lot currently has between five to 10,000 members and has published their own version of the Book of Mormon. The current printing is from a edition created in 1990. To create this, the church reviewed the printer's manuscript and it also patterned its printing after the 1908 RLDS edition, which we reviewed previously, where it matches versing and chapter breaks. The testimony of the witnesses are in the front, followed by a pretty impressive introduction and preface. In it, the introduction lays out an argument for the Book of Mormon's authenticity. This includes Joseph Smith's own background, where he published his experience as found in the early church newspaper called Times and Seasons. This is similar to the introduction and background found in the current Salt Lake editions. The introduction also quotes Emma Smith's testimony, along with Oliver Cowdery, regarding the origination of the Book of Mormon. It also goes through a brief explanation of chiasmuses found in the text, as well as some explanation that Joseph Smith's Old English might be cumbersome to modern-day readers, but it actually adds validity to the Book of Mormon. I'm impressed with a single sentence that sums up the edition's position regarding the legitimacy of the Book of Mormon. It says, quote, the book's apparent literary blunders are, in reality, marks of its authenticity, unquote. For a non-Salt Lake church to make such a bold statement like this regarding the origination of the Book of Mormon is impressive and adds a positive perspective regarding where the Book of Mormon came from. So there you have it, the Book of Mormon printed by the Church of Christ Temple Lot in Independence, Missouri, they do have a website where there is a PDF order form to mail in. I also know there is a museum and bookstore on location, too. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to comment down below if you have ever visited the site or if there are any members of the church viewing this video. If you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed on this series, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes until next time.